All right, let's have a read through this one. Vicky has to paint a wall. The diagram shows the dimensions of the wall. It's 300 centimeters wide and 500 centimeters tall. Vicky needs to find the area of the wall in meters squared. What is the area of the wall in meters squared? Write your answer in the box below and then show a check of your answer. Now, if we were to try and find the area, I think most people's thought would be to times these two things together. But let's just think about that carefully for a second. If we times 300 centimeters by 500 centimeters, whatever our answer is, it will be in centimeters squared. And we're not, we don't want it in centimeters squared, we want it in meters squared. So instead what I'm going to do first is convert 300 centimeters and 500 centimeters into meters. Because if I know what these are in meters, I can times them together and get an answer that's in meters squared. So, first thing to do is to convert 300 centimeters into meters. So to go from centimeters into meters, we know for example that there are 100 centimeters in one meter. What have I done to these centimeters to get them to go into meters? Well, it looks to me like I've divided by 100. Uh, often with doing conversions like centimeters into meters, you don't need to remember a maths, uh, you, you know, a, 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 a maths thing that you do to it to get it to go from centimeters to meters. Often people can just see what it is. But if that's if that's not you, if there are 100 centimeters in a meter, then you can divide by 100 to go from one to the other. If I did want to go from meters into centimeters, I'd be timesing by 100 because you can get 100 centimeters in every meter. But I'm not worried about this bit up top. I'm just worried about dividing by 100 to go from centimeters into meters. So, if I want to convert that 300 at the top, I take my 300, and like we just said, we're going to divide it by 100. Okay, so 300 centimeters. I'm just going to label my working out here, kind of for my benefit. 300 centimeters divided by 100 means that across the top, that's the same as 3 meters. So 3 meters. And across the side here, 500 centimeters divided by 100 again leaves me with 5 meters. So 500 centimeters equals 5, oops, 5 meters. So I'm just going to label that on my picture. All right. So now we can work out the area. And like we were saying before, we can times the width by the height of a rectangle to find out the area of the space inside. So clear this. 3 meters times 5 meters means that the area is 15 meters squared. I'm going to go back and put some units in. 3 meters times 5 meters is 15 meters squared. Lovely. So what's the area of the wall in meters squared? My answer is 15. Show a check of your answer. Now I always think it's good to separate it out to show that show the examiner, to show whoever's marking it, that this is where I'm doing my check. Um, to do a check in this case, I'm going to pick something that I've done in my working out and do it backwards to see if I get an answer that makes sense. For example, I'm going to choose uh, this one. And I'm going to check this working out. To do a reverse calculation, I'm going to start with my answer, which was 15. And I did a times before, which means I'm now going to do a divide. Now, whichever one of these I divide by, I should get the other one. So, for example, if I did 15 divided by 5, I should get 3. I'm going to do 15 divided by 3, and my answer, if, it, if I've done all my working out right, should be 5. So let's just check. Right, 15 divided by 3 is 5, so I know I've done my working out right. That's why it's a check. Uh, I've just noticed this has gone to the wrong place. I have this problem a lot, so I'm just going to delete it, move my cursor, copy it again. All right, so I converted the lengths of the the wall into meters. I then times the meters together to get an answer that's in meters squared, just like the question asked. To show a check of my answer, I picked something in here that looked nice. I could have done the same thing. I could have checked both of these as well, um, or I could have just chosen one of them, um, and just did a reverse calculation. So I took my answer. Instead of doing a times like I did last time, I did a divide, and I got answers that that fit with my original calculation, so I know my answer is right. And that was it. There are three marks for that first part, and an extra fourth mark for doing the check.